Hi, I'm Dr. Ivan Meisner. I'm the founder of BNI and the senior partner for the Referral Institute. I'm here today to talk about a new book, uh, Networking Like a Pro, Turning Contacts into Connections. And I have with me one of my co-authors of the book, David Alexander. David, it's great to have you here. It's awesome to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me and letting me be a part of this project. It's been a blast. It's been a pleasure working with you and I really enjoy the book. It was originally your vision for the concept of networking like a pro, you and Brian, and so I thought maybe uh, we could start by you talking about it. Uh, I had heard about Brian and he had this program called Networking Like a Pro and I thought to myself, that's an awesome name. And so I was like, let's do this book together. And he's like, I'm in. It sounds like a great idea. So we started working on the table of contents. Then I asked him, I was like, well, how about we include Dr. Ivan Meisner? And Brian was so well, he, you know, he's a best-selling author. He has a lot of books out there. He, you think you'll be in? I was like, yeah, I, I think you'll be in. I know him pretty well. Well, there's a lot of great material. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the content. Give, give uh, the viewers a little preview okay. of what we've got in Networking Like a Pro. i got a great question for you. And there's this vicious rumor going around that the founder of BNI, the world's largest networking organization, is an introvert. Say it's not so. It is so. There are situations that I find myself in that are uncomfortable and I come across as an extrovert, but the truth is I'm an introvert. So I mean, look at the organization I started, BNI. Uh, one person per profession, small groups. It's all about building relationships. I could have created a network where hundreds or thousands of people came, but mm -hmm. no, it was a smaller group. When I go to networking meetings, I talk about, you know, have people introduce me around. Well, that makes it easier for mm -hmm. me to connect with people. And so one of the things that this really brought out to me, and I I think it's powerful for our book is that introverts can be great at networking. We know extroverts are great, but of course extroverts, they can speak to people easily. They can make introductions, but they're not necessarily real strong at building the relationships. Introverts may have a hard time making that first contact, mm -hmm. but they're better at building the relationships. So there are strengths and weaknesses for both introverts and extroverts. And whichever one you are, you can be a pro at mm -hmm. networking. I mean, we talk a lot about strategic networking, strategic networking uh, within the context of getting strategic introductions. That ties into a concept uh, that you wrote about in the book called the butterfly effect. Would you share with us real quick the importance of the butterfly effect and how sensing opportunity you know, can have huge impact on your life? In the book, we talk about the fact that networking is about a mindset and a mm -hmm. skill set. And the butterfly effect concept, I think, uh, is, a, is a great mindset mm -hmm. that leads to one's skill set. Mm -hmm. What made me think of it was uh, I was sitting on Necker Island, which is a private island in the Caribbean. So I'm sitting there and I'm writing, and up walks Sir Richard Branson the founder of the Virgin Companies, Virgin Atlantic, and now Virgin Galactic. And he walks up and he says, hi, how are you doing? What are you working on? Uh, we talked about the seminar that we were sure. doing on his island. And, and he said, uh, well, uh, I'll see you later. See you, see you for dinner tonight. And he walks off and I'm sitting there going, whoa, how did I get here? It's incredible. You know, what, what, what happened that got me to this moment in time? Mm -hmm. And so what I decided to do was to reverse engineer how I got there that day. Mm -hmm. And it came as a result of a person asking me for a favor. Mm -hmm. And she asked for a favor and that favor led to something that led to something that led to something. So what we talk about in the book is that it's very important to know what your mission is in business, mm -hmm. to know, to have a vision about what you want to accomplish and basically how you want to get there. And then every time you have an opportunity to follow that passion and vision, mm -hmm. say yes because it's like the ripples in a pond that extend out further and further and further. And when you look back, when, when anyone who's watching this video, if there's something exciting that happens in their life, look back to how you got there. And you'll find that many times it's part of this butterfly effect, the effect of one thing affecting something else mm -hmm. which affects something else. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that was a great addition to the book. I really enjoyed uh, being able to put that in. David, you have an interesting title on your business card, and I think it's really relevant to what we talk mm -hmm. about in the book. Uh, tell us about that. A chief networking officer's responsibility is to track, maintain, teach uh, relationship strategies and networking strategies, teach right. people how to track those strategies that lead to results for the bottom line within an organization. So I thought, well, who better to be that in my organization than me? And it's, the person, really, it's the person who's going out there 
bringing in the business for the organization that uh, that, that role fits best. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, we don't teach this stuff in colleges and universities. It's one of the things that drives me nuts mm -hmm. is we give people bachelor's degrees in business and they don't have a clue how to network because we don't teach it in yeah. college. Now, I have a theory about this. Most full-time tenured professors at universities have never had a real job in their life. Mm -hmm. They teach it, but they've never been in it. And the average business person will tell you that networking and word of mouth marketing is so incredibly important. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why we did this book, was to really aim it at the guy out there where the rubber meets the road and he has to bring in business, the chief networking mm -hmm. officer or someone like that person who has to bring in business. And that's who this book is mm -hmm. written for. I agree. You know, we talk in the book about